I mean, it feels like we've been in a lot of them. Um, we haven't played our best uh, the last two games, but found a way to get four points actually out of them. So, um, you know, two two games. I think it's a good thing that we're you know we haven't played our best the last two, and we found a way to win both. So that's what good teams can do. But we know that those two. Uh, I don't even want to say efforts, but more like execution and performances. That's not going to cut it tonight against these guys. These guys are um, a very good hockey team, and we saw it last year a lot. Um, saw them deep in the playoffs, and and know that we're going to have to bring our A game tonight against them. On that, you know these guys are probably a little upset after the sweep last year. What do you expect from the Canes tonight in terms of what they're coming out with against you guys? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like you said, I, I mean, we'd feel the same way. Like I'm sure they're going to be, they're they're probably feeling exactly how we're going to feel when we play Vegas, like the team that knocked you out and the team that ended your season. So, um, and the way we did it to Carolina, obviously doing it in four games, it's probably going to be a little extra sour over there. But um, I don't know, there's, most of the teams and personnel is a little bit different, but I know that they're a passionate team and they're going to come out flying and physical and um, just playing how they, they normally play. So um, it's up to us to, I feel like last year in playoffs, we kind of play, outplayed them at their own game a little bit too. So. Um, I think we just kind of have to oversimplify tonight and do it again. How much do you think your game has carried over, not just yours, I mean, but the whole team? seems like from that Carolina series, every game you guys play is a one-goal game. It's yeah. just a carryover from the postseason. Yeah, it feels like it. And we know uh, we've said it a ton with the guys that we have out right now. We, we have to win those tight, low-scoring games. I know the last two have been more scoring both sides than we've been used to this year. But... I don't know how many, you know, two one or three one or three two games or two nothing games we've been in this year. So um, I think it has carried over a little bit, and we're comfortable with that. Like we don't need to go out there and score four or five goals to win a game. We're totally comfortable and, and keeping it low scoring, and and we're very comfortable in those tight games. And I think a lot of that was learned in playoffs and um, the confidence you build from a playoff run like that. You can easily it doesn't matter if we have a bunch of new guys in here that can easily be uh, carried over to. The season. Matthew, what do you remember most about that series? Obviously, you had a, such a clutch goal to end it, but just overall, you know, what do you remember most about that playoff series? Um, probably that uh, it was a lot of hockey and uh, not a lot of time. Like it was only four games, but um, there was a couple overtimes and um, you know a, a late goal in game four and and one nothing game in game three. It was just it was really. I mean, I, I felt that we dominated in, in most facets of the series. I really do. But it was all one goal game and overtime. So um, I thought our specialty teams were really good. Um, our goalie was better. Like everything that we kind of matched up against, we it was such a tight series, but we just did it a little bit better. So um, I don't know. It was it was a, such a fun series to be a part of, obviously coming out on the winning side. And um, all those overtime games uh, and the late goals, those are, those are a lot of fun. I mean, shifting our focus over to this year now, it seems like the last few games your line has been struggling to get things going. I know after the last home game, Paul Murray said he kind of split the lineup because he wasn't seeing enough from you guys. I mean, what, what are you guys looking to do to get back things going again tonight? We have to play in the ozone. We have to play with the puck, and we have to come up with speed together. And we're separated or not coming up together supporting each other or when we're spread out in the offensive zone that's when we're playing a lot of defense or playing in our zone so um, I think our line and our team is way more successful below their goal line and making plays and having you know D up the rush and um, just everybody tight together so I think for us to be successful we have to do it all all as a unit. I mean, for for your line specifically, does it hurt not having a guy like Sam out there who was doing a lot of those things behind the goal line and doing a lot of those things in front of the net too? Well, I mean, I think if you get carried up in injuries, like we could be talking about it all year um, with the defense. Or I mean, Benny hasn't has only played one period this year, so um, every team deals with it. Our team has found a way to get a bunch of wins with the absence of those three guys, and um, I mean, I'm sure they're going to be back very soon and. Our team's very excited and going to welcome them back. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.